guys, what's good? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. I'm Leah for those of you who are new. So today we are going on a solo date. I have just really been feeling a solo date recently and I know that some people find the whole concept of solo dates really daunting and they're like, how am I gonna go to a restaurant alone kind of thing. So I thought I'd kind of like share my experiences and like bring you along with me, etc., and just help people feel more at ease with going on solo dates because honestly, I feel like solo dates are just really elite. Right, well, they're really, really up there. And I highly encourage people to start going on solo dates if it's something that you wanna do. And hopefully this can inspire you to uh, get out there on your own. So I personally have found a whole new love for being alone and having alone time. And I definitely have had periods of feeling super, super lonely and just feeling like, oh my God, I've got no friends. But I feel like over the past few months, I've really kind of embraced it and kind of been like, okay, how can I make this whole being alone thing better and like not feel as lonely kind of thing and one way that i've been able to do that is definitely going on a solo dates i feel like if you guys know me then you know that i really appreciate good food good drinks so solo dates where i take myself out for dinner and lunch they just make complete sense i honestly have found solo dates so liberating because it's almost like you get a feeling of like okay I can go wherever I want to go to eat. I can eat whatever I want. I don't have to wait for anybody else. It's just like a feeling of like freedom of like, oh my God, I'm not waiting on other people kind of thing. And I feel like the reason I've started like doing like little solo lunches and solo dinners by myself is because I was fed up of like, this sounds shady, but like I was fed up of waiting for people or maybe it'll be like some people are budgeting, which obviously that's completely fine. I understand that people are budgeting, etc. Or people just can't like fit it into their schedule kind of thing. So like, if I wanna go out for pasta, I'm not gonna wait for anybody kind of thing. And it's like, I know you can order things like Deliveroo, but I feel like there's something nice about the restaurant experience. So yeah, I just kind of had to set a rule for my life of like, I'm not letting other people's factors in their life determine me going out for food or having an enjoyment or whatever. And I kind of feel the same with solo holidays. I haven't done like a proper solo holiday yet. I did fly to Dublin once for a day on like a random one. Uh, on my own and that was really good and it was kind of for the same reasons of like kept saying to like friends and family like oh I really want to go to Dublin I really want to go and because their like budgets or like their time schedule wouldn't allow for it I was like you know what I'm just gonna go on my own I'm just gonna go on my own and I feel the same way with like solo lunches and dinners it's just like a feeling of like I'm just doing what I want to do I'm not waiting for nobody I'm just going where I need to go because I'm trying to enjoy and I feel like considering what we've been through the past two years I'm not delaying enjoyment. I am not delaying having fun, going out to eat, whatever. So, solo dates is where it's at. I know that one big worry when it comes to solo dates is what will other people in the restaurant think? And honestly, no one cares. I feel like no one cares. They're just enjoying their food with their people. So, why would they be looking at you kind of thing? Like, people just mind their own business, do you know what I mean? And I kind of think if they are taking time out of their lunch to stare at you, then they must be having a really miserable time because what the hell? So yeah, honestly, just do not worry about what people might think or what people might say because you're there to enjoy yourself. So just focus on you and your enjoyment. One thing I do on solo dates is try to use my phone as little as possible. Like obviously I will use it a bit, but I do definitely try not to. I know that a lot of people will bring like a book with them so that they can just like read, but I just kind of sit and chill and just, I'm quite happy to just sit on my own and just be, you know? I feel like if you think that going for a restaurant is too much for you, then have a think about other things you can do that you'd feel comfortable with. So the first solo day I ever went on was to the cinema and I didn't even make it a big thing. I genuinely just really wanted to watch the new Lion King, like the weekend it came out. And I was like, I cannot wait for anybody. Like there's no way that I'm waiting. I just need to go and see The Lion King. So I just booked it, obviously got my tickets, got my popcorn, and just went in on my own. It's super chill, it's not a big deal. Like, do you know what I mean? You just go in and sit down and it's like not this big thing. So that was my like first sort of solo date. So you can try and do like little things like that to help build your confidence and then step up to like the restaurants if the restaurants feel like they're too much for you. But yeah, I know that I used to have friends that were like too scared to do like anything on their own, like even to go to like a shopping center. So even if you wanted to start with like something like that and just go like mooching around, I think it will help you become more comfortable on your own. And then eventually you'll just get to the point where you're like, I just want to do everything alone. I don't even want people there. I just want to be alone. Personally, I always feel my best when I'm dressed up in some nice clothes. I've got my makeup on, I've straight 
straighten my hair. That's just when I feel the best and I want to bring that same energy to the solo day because I want to go out feeling confident and just like, yeah, like I look good today. And I feel like I'm trying to bring that energy into 2022 more of just like, I just want to feel good when I go out. So yeah, that's why I'm dressed up for my solo day. Let me do a quick like OOTD. Okay, so I feel like the camera's really slanted, but you get the idea anyway. So I'm just wearing this Zara blazer. I got this in my latest Zara haul, Zara bodysuit. And these blue ripped jeans that were from Misguided. I can't lie, when I crouched down, I did rip the jeans even more. So it wasn't actually like my whole thigh was out before, but it's okay, it doesn't matter. I do have heels on right now, but I am gonna switch them out for trainers. I only wore the heels so I could get a pick, which I actually managed to take my own outfit of the day picture. And I was actually really proud of them. I was like, wow, go me. Like, usually I'd be like relying on someone and I'm just like, wow, look at me, independent. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna put trainers on in a sec and then go. Here are my trainers. I'm just wearing some white Jordans. I'm also gonna put some perfume on. This is Kayali Invite Only. This is my like go-to perfume. Honestly, it smells, oh, it's like incredible. It's literally divine, so yeah. Okay, so I didn't even tell you guys where I'm going. I'm going to Fumo in the Bull Ring. It's one of my favorite restaurants. I do prefer the other one on Waterloo Street, I think it is, but I want to like have a little mooch around Selfridges, so yeah. Baby, it's you. Lying like a ride. But take your stuff back. Okay, so I'm here. I'm sat really far away from everyone, which I actually love because I don't want to be near people. Um, I've just ordered my drink, non alcoholic, because it's dry January. And I've ordered my food as well, so yeah. Okay, first up we've got calamari. Okay, so next I'm having ravioli lobster and then some lamb cutlets. Yeah, if I was for the time, then I would change the honey. Hello guys, so my solo lunch date is done. I had a lovely time, had some good food, good drinks. I'm actually just about to get my nails done. Looking forward to that. It's the first time I get my nails done this year. So I'm just like, oh, finally. But yeah, let me know if you are thinking about going on a solo date or if this has inspired you to just go out there and go on a solo date, I'd love to know. But honestly, it's a lot less scary than you think it is. So just go for it you know um the sun is literally blind to me so i'm gonna go but thank you guys so so much for watching this video really appreciate it as always follow me on instagram at leah underscore miller and i'll see you next time bye